Ellie, good afternoon. It has been three hours that have been profoundly difficult to listen to. In painstaking detail, prosecutors have gone through exhibit after exhibit after exhibit, making their case that Ethan Crumbly deserves to spend the rest of his life in prison. This morning, prosecutors revealed new evidence from the mass shooting, showing images of some of the bullet holes in the hallways and classrooms of Oxford High School from Crumbly's rampage. We saw an image of Crumbly's backpack and journal strewn on the bathroom floor. This is where he prepared in the moments before the shooting. Prosecutors showed this sketch drawn by Crumbly of a girl with a gun pointed to her head. He wrote, the first victim has to be a pretty girl with a future so she can suffer just like me. The first victim, prosecutors noted, was a female student shot in the face. We saw evidence of Crumbly's internet history, searching about guns, about whether Michigan had the death penalty, and about the layout of Oxford High School. Prosecutors played this chilling video of Crumbly shooting his gun at a nearby firing range, along with his mother, only days before the shooting. And we read lengthy text messages where Crumbly fantasized about killing his classmates, small children, and any innocent people he encountered. And as prosecutor Karen McDonald said, they did end up playing surveillance video from the shooting. Journalists were prohibited from broadcasting it, and we would not have shown it anyway. What we could see were the horrified reactions of the men and women in the courtroom who watched in absolute disbelief. The hearing is continuing for the rest of the day and is expected to go into tomorrow. We are continuing to stream it now on WXYZ.com, and we'll have updates beginning on 7 Action News at 4. Allie.